going on, everybody? Oh! It is Pixel Parties here, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. When we left off, we, we got the gang all together. The <laughs> gang's <laughs> all here. Pretty much. They're all scattered about all over the place now, but we're now using the thief again for the first time in Correct. quite a while. And uh, we're going to go look at this body, and we're going to find out what's going on. Oh, is there anything about this, like, weird burn thing that's going on here? This pillar appears to be burnt. Yeah. According to the files, it seems there was a fire on the evening of the incident. A fire? Um, let's see here. Huh? It says that one of the children at the orphanage spilled kerosene and set it on fire as a prank. I guess that kid had far too much energy. Jeez. <laughs> and thanks to that, we can't make out any footprints near the main hall. Uh, that's gonna be evidence. Okay. Huh. Well, how about the body? So this is the eyewitness of the president's kidnapping. Oh, I Jack just thought Cameron. of something. What? Oh man, freaking! All I have, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything. But all I have to say is just the title, and you'll get it. I promise, Neverland. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways. <laughs> People who have seen it will get it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That was such a good show. Oh, God, Anyways, it was. So this is the eyewitness of the president's kidnapping, Jack Cameron. What exactly did he witness? And I'm assuming there's going to be more. There was supposed to be more, but it got delayed because of, you know, everything that's going the, on the in Backstreet the world. The Backstreet Boys tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have to look because I think, if I remember correctly, the camera was supposed to come out in October or if it was delayed to October. And it's oh. now October. I'll have to double check that when we're done with this because yeah. there might be things already. I don't know. If not, ignore this self thought I process. He created the state of his body based on the photos taken by the police. Oh. Perfect. Wow. It appears it was struck in the head from behind. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. The murder weapon was a brick, right? Looks like the ones from his garden. Dang, right in the corner. Flowed. Yeah, the blood that flowed from his head is splattered all over the surroundings. Oof. Here, take this. It's Mr. Cameron's autopsy report. It's also dangerous to go alone. Oh, great, another <laughs> autopsy report. <laughs> you get and me? I see what you yeah, did. Okay. I want some respect. Every special looking looking great. Yes. All right. Number one, there's a there's a flower thing it's up here. It's been a long time since we've seen blood on snow. <laughs> yeah. A yellow flower has fallen here. In the language of flowers, it means a stolen treasure. Okay, please stop making things up. Still, this flower seems to be of a different variety from the ones growing nearby. Hmm, well then, why is it in a place like this? This bothers me a little. We should examine the flower bit itself after this. I knew it. Someone must have stolen this from somewhere and brought it here. Okay. And in the language of flowers, this means an angry prosecutor. Christ. <laughs> All right, there's a phone down here. There's a lot of things to check out here. Yeah. I assume this is the victim's cell phone. That's right. Um, apparently Mr. Cameron gave his eyewitness testimony over the cell phone. What do you mean by over the cell phone? I, oh, it's you. Oh, I didn't realize the language. He's just like from the corner. He's like, I can tell you. Yeah. After Cameron found the president, it seems they called his girlfriend. But she didn't answer the phone, so Cameron left a message on her answering machine. The tape is in the case files, too. You want to hear it? Please. Hello, Jill. Are you asleep already? I'm in front of the facility now, but... Something's not right. President Huang is here of all places. And what's more... Crap, the light just went off. I can barely see a thing now. I can't believe it, but I it almost looks like he's being kidnapped. I thought I'd let you know. Oof. Wow. Hmm. What was that sound at the end? Seems he was attacked while he was still on the phone. Agent Lang, may I ask? What was the name of Mr. Cameron's beloved? I'm pretty sure I heard her name was Jill Crane. Oh! Oops. So it was true. D did you say Jill? This was why she was seeking revenge for 12 long years. Wow, that's sad. The feelings in the items Miss Crane inherited from her beloved brought her to the auction. She'd come to exact revenge on the con on the conductor, Blaze. Hmm. But Miss Crane tried to get revenge on Blaze, right? She may have wanted to get revenge on him recovering up the kidnapping case. Or perhaps she thought Blaze himself was the kidnapper. 
Dang. Mm. Well, damn. God, can you imagine getting a voicemail like that? I, I'd rather not. That'd be <laughs> scarring. <laughs> yeah. All right, the left set of footprints is not important, but we'll just look at the body, I guess. Jack Cameron was a freelance journalist. He was killed because he witnessed the president's kidnapping. The bread, the bread, the blood really stands out in the recreation. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Even the original photo looks brutal enough. For real. A lot of blood was spilled. The back of his head is covered in blood. That must be where the, all the blood spilled from. According to the autopsy report, he was struck in the back of the head with a brick. Indeed. It's likely that the killer approached Mr. Cameron from behind. Hmm? Is the victim holding something in his right hand? That's also written in the case files. Um, seems he was holding onto a button. A button? Did he tear it off the culprit's clothes? Huh. God, more evidence. Okay. So much. Camera. You know, I was about to say, we're probably going to get like three. We're going to get the camera, and then we're going to get the brick, and then we got these... Footprints. Oh, the dull... The, really, the dull footprints aren't anything? You're not going to worry about the fact that Dude, there's look, two footprints? Well, no, those are those footprints are smaller than the other ones. Hmm. You see that? Yeah. All right, I'm going to look at the camera. Hello. Hmm. If one was carrying a camera. Oh, according to the case files, it seems he only managed to take a single photo. Um, here it is. Uh. Th this is... That's a big photo. I isn't that the president? He's being held at gunpoint. This must be the scene the victim witnessed. So the person in the coat must be the kidnapper. Indeed, it seems like some sort of disguise. The logic of Agent Lang's father is correct. And this person should be Patricia Rowland. But why are there why is there only one photo? Perhaps he was killed before he could take any more. Hmm. There's the photo we took. Interesting. The brick. This is the brick that was used as the murder weapon. Perfect. You can find bricks like this all over the garden. He must have used one of them as a weapon. Yeah, any, nothing about the footprints here. No, no, nothing really? unusual here about two fucking... What about the other one? <clears throat> no, there's nothing from these. These must be separate from looking at the body. I guess if I leave uh, this, maybe they'll let me do that. Because there's no way that they're just going to be like, ah, oh, nothing unusual here. Because there's two different sets <clears throat> of fruit, uh, footprints. Yeah. A flower bed. According to the data, this facility had three gardens. And each of these gardens contain three flower beds. Okay. <sighs> oh, these flower beds are lined up. Have I seen this arrangement somewhere before? Ha 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 have you? Ha have we? <laughs> um, since it was during the winter, there were no flowers in bloom. What a shame. Hmm? What's this yellow flower? Huh? Why is there a single flower here? That is a lion lily. It's a very rare type of lily. Did you say lion lily? That's the flower Miss Courtney gave to the president. What's it doing here? Could it be just a coincidence? You know there's no coincidences in this game, Miles Hedgefurst. <laughs> <laughs> if I recall, the lion lily originates from Asia. In the language of flowers, it means the bond between parent and child. I was gonna... Like, it was... I was gonna try and say something when I thought last time about the fact of um, when it came to why Courtney would be meeting Huang up there. I almost thought that maybe she was the mother of John. People can't see by, your air quotes. Evan. Yeah, I put the air quotes there because twelve years ago at an orphanage, Huang could have easily adopted John back then John could have been you know abandoned baby child at one years old mm -hmm. and we don't know any of John's backstory of anything that could go on there but then potentially maybe at this in the same antithesis of sorts how old is bless you Courtney <laughs> She's uh, 26. 26 so she could have been 14 in an orphanage 
as well. So maybe like this was just kind of putting forward, could Courtney have been adopted by Huang? I don't know. And that's why well, she would meet him up he? top? He's old as shit, isn't he? <laughs> wow. 58. Yeah. <laughs> He's old. <laughs> he could have. Someone adopted someone. That's important. And it could have easily been Justine. I don't know if they would have allowed a, you know, a super toddler adoption back well, then. Well, I mean, but... John's 13, so he didn't exist Exa yet. Well, no, this is 12 years ago, so he would have been one. Oh, that's right. I did the yeah. math the opposite way. <laughs> You're good. And then you're so familiar with flowers. That's much is common sense. You're simply lacking your, in your studies, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> the hmm. language of flowers is kind of a cool thing, you know, because like in rose means red rose means love. Yeah, swing. It's a swing decorated with the face of an elephant. Looks like there's some kind of motor attached to the other side of the elephant. There's one thought that has crossed the minds of every top class swinger. If only I could do a full 360. With that powerful motor rotating the swing, that dream can finally be achieved. Rotating with a motor. But wouldn't that be dangerous? Mr. Edgeworth, you can't fulfill your dreams unless you're willing to take some risks. Is that the real problem here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to look at these footsteps. <laughs> these footprints stop near the body. It must be Mr. Cameron's footprints. He sure has some big feet. They look like size 11. According to the data, his shoes match these footprints. Oh, okay, well, there we go. All right, and then we got these two sets of footprints as well. Yeah. The footprints here seem to lead to and from the body. These footprints were believed to be the culprits. The shoe size is about a size 7. That's fairly average. Seems we'll be able to tell who the culprit is from these footprints. Damn. All right. You got anything for me, dog? Yeah, that dude's shoes are huge. Hey. Three flower beds and snow. Adrian Lang, what's the matter? Something strange. I wasn't able to read the SS5 incident in case files until now. Since Blaze all the access to that information restricted. Yeah, that's right. And yet I feel like I've seen this exact scene somewhere before. What do you mean? Where did I see this? If I could just remember. And look deep in the thought. Yeah, he does. I should leave him for alone for a while. Were, were you adopted from here? <laughs> I should leave him alone for a while. Mm -hmm. Continues to talk to him. After the SS5 incident, the prison completely changed. Well, he must have felt like a trust. His trust had been betrayed. I guess it's only natural. He cut off all ties with the Lang Clan, putting an end to our deep bond of trust. Well, man, why not at least apologize in some way? So he tried to go see the president more times than I can count. Of course, the president refused to meet with him. He wouldn't even give him the time of day. I don't know if it was from the bodyguards, but there were times he'd come back all beaten up. <laughs> but me standing around talking about the past doesn't do jack, does it? I should be the judge of that. For now, just keep telling us what you know. You're still as tactless as ever. Well, I figured you'd say as much. Fall my old man was also the fall of the Lang clan. The family that failed to protect the president. That's what we became. Do you need a hug, Lang? I'll give you one. My old man started to investigate the case like he was possessed. Could someone so driven by obsession truly conduct a proper investigation? Sheesh. You really don't pull your punches, Mr. Prosecutor. <laughs> don't think I blindly trust in his investigation just because he's my old man. His investigation was meticulous down to the last detail. Apparently, he even conducted a thorough interview with each and every kid on the orphanage. Wow. He interviewed every child. I wonder how fruitful his results were. Hmm. Give okay. the wolf man a hug! <laughs> okay, so we have a couple pieces of logic. Wait a minute. Yo! That's what it is. These, there was the flower beds there on the left side, and that's why it's the three footprints. Oh my footprints. god! That's where that came in from. Whoa! That's why we had the three footprints for so freaking long. That's why we're ah! in that. That's why we're in that walking pattern because it was on the left side Never of the building. Never in my life would I would have thought that we would connect the quote three footprints to to, to, to a three flower bed. Flower beds <laughs> from the twelve years ago. 
Perhaps this is the true nature of the monster's footprints. True nature? Like Animal Planet? Compare the positions of the three footprints of the three flower beds on the left. You ever seen lions try to take down a zebra? It's really freaky. <laughs> ah! Yeah! Oh my gosh! The exposures of dirt were where the flower beds were. Even Dude. the little, even the little, even the little hoofsies. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, what are the odds it's wild. of it being related to a giant cow monster? That's like, a wild. Like, what are the freaking that odds? That is wild. Oh my god, so Blaze dug <laughs> holes in front of where each of the three flower beds used to be. Dude. Exactly. Now, why would you do such a thing? My mind is blown right now. <laughs> I believe we have a piece of evidence that tells us why. God, I love this game. Why Blaze holes in the ground near the flower beds? <laughs> That would be his paperwork because uh, the, the the report on Nightly, I believe, because it uh, that thing he laid to rest in front of the flower bed 12 years ago, you simply must retrieve it. Mm -hmm. And that's talking about Nightly? That's interesting. Is it talking about I Nightly? Wonder if, it... I wonder if n did Nightly kill that guy? Or are they talking about are they talking about Dogen? Are they trying to think of something that Dogen laid? Uh, Our report put in on the Nightly's flower connection with Dogen by Patricia Rowland to Blaze the Best. Well, I'm just focused on the bottom paragraph. Tomorrow, she'll interrogate him in the warden's office. Interrogate him as in Nightly. Nightly. I'll get him to confess that he's one of Dogen's henchmen. That thing he laid to rest in front of the flower bed 12 years ago. You simply must retrieve it. I think it's probably more referring to Dogen. Yeah. Because I don't think Nightly was that old, was he? No. Yeah. So I think this puts Dogen also in the fucking plethora of all this going on. Yeah, Dogen's definitely an older guy. He's, yeah, he's, old, so he's older. Weird, so... Because Knightley, I think he was around our age, maybe a little bit older. Hmm. I don't quite remember. Yeah, so... And I don't think we have his profile. <laughs> not anymore, since he's dead. And I don't think we have anything on him. No, we only... This is all we have in the report on Nightly. I don't think he's... I don't think he's in our profiles anymore. I'd have to... Oh, or I can't do that anyways, but That's report right. on Nightly. The report from Patricia Rowland to Blaze the Best. It said that something was laid to rest in front of the flower bed. So Blaze was following Miss Rowland's instructions to dig it up? But why would he dig up three holes? The report didn't state which of the three flower beds that the atom was in front of. Oh, so Blaze didn't know exactly where to dig. That's why he had to dig up all three spots. Most likely, yes. I'm sure Blaze himself was none too happy about that. <laughs> he went through all that trouble. I wonder what he was trying to dig up. Hmm, so we got what did he dig up. We've learned pretty much all that we can about the situation at the time of the murder. Oh, in that case, is there another scene you'd like to recreate? Yes. Would you do the honors? I would like you to recreate the scene in which the victim witnessed the president's kidnapping. Since we have this photo. Right. I'll recreate the scene based on Mr. Cameron's photo. Mr. Camera's <clears throat> photo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. And hoop a doop a doop. Okay. Mr. Cameron is standing on the middle of the flower beds. Hmm. And the president and his kidnapper is standing on the road. The old man based his initial investigation on this man's eyewitness testimony. As a result, it led to him believe that the kidnapping and this facility were related. And that's how he came to suspect the head of the orphanage, Patricia Rowland. Yeah. But in court, Blaze the best treated this testimony as if it meant nothing. Why would he do that? The president and his kidnapper were not standing inside the orphanage grounds. So a connection between the orphanage and the kidnapping was difficult to prove. I see. It's not like they were seen inside the orphanage after all. <laughs> no matter how much evidence the detectives gather at the crime scene, it doesn't mean squat the prosecutor won't use it in court. Blaze the Best had some kind of connection with Patricia Rowland. I figured they had some kind of deal going on. In other words, you think that Blaze was one of the kidnappers? Huh. 
However, your father was convinced that Patricia Rowland was the culprit. Huh. Your father was a highly capable investigator, I presume. Might he have had some other basis for his conclusion besides the eyewitness testimony? Yeah, I figured he did, but I have no idea what it was. My old man never really talked much about this case. Hmm. Agent Lang's father, D. Long Lang. President Huang's most trusted confidant. The truth he discovered was suppressed by Blaze the Best. Did you call him confident? I did instead of... Confidant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> First, we must find that hidden truth. Huh. Okay. Now then. Because, I mean, the thing that confuses me is the fact that... His footsteps went up this way, so, okay, he just stood out in the open like this. Because the person who killed then couldn't be one of... Because that's the big thing, is that it couldn't have been these two. Because they the, would have been there. The, per the person that killed him, those footsteps couldn't have belonged to them because he would have seen them coming. Hmm. Cameron took a photo of the president from this spot. And he also called Miss Crane, right? At that time, the killer was already behind him. Holding the murderous brick. Huh. So that's it. That's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Um. These footprints stopped near the body. Must be Cameron's footprints. Oh gosh. Must be Cameron's footprints. I think we did this one already, but <laughs> yeah, like like size eleven idiot yeah, is gonna yeah, match yeah, with yeah, the. Yeah, oh, they didn't even. Oh no, they're doing that whole part. Going ahead. That is just match the footprints. Yay. Okay. Mm. All right. Hmm. Let's look at these guys. Number one, the snowman. That was <laughs> melted afterwards. We're so suspected. Every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Now, number one, I noticed in the picture there was a handprint on the freaking snowman, so I want to look at that. Um, about this snowman. When we recreated the scene where Mr. Cameron was killed, it had already melted. Its scarf was all soggy, and one of its button eyes was missing. Oh, the button eyes! Indeed, at this oh. stage, it appears that most of his original form was in still intact. Although there's one spot that looks unnaturally lacking. Poor thing. I bet some naughty kid must have plucked it off. Although from a thief's perspective, that kid does have some promise. Christ. <laughs> was it plucked off by one of the children at the orphanage? No, perhaps. It was taken by an entirely different person altogether. And now we have a deuce button. I'll do that in a second. I'm going to look at President Di Jun Huang. 12 years ago, he was still the president of Zheng Fa. Doesn't he seem a bit younger? Though it might be hard to tell since it's so dark. Indeed, with the situation being what it is, his facial expression seems a bit strained. I wonder where the president was taken after this. We don't know that yet. However, if the answer to that question lies here, it should become clear when we continue the investigation. It's the president's kidnapper. Let's try drawing out whatever we can from their appearance. Right, I got it. Their appearance. Their appearance. First things first, they could never threaten the president with a gun. Look like at a, how they're holding the gun. It's like they're trying to show it off. Totally not cool. Unfortunately, we cannot see the person's face because it was hidden by their coat and hat. And look at that <clears throat> pop collar. It's like they're trying to be all that. Totally not cool. <laughs> their body seems relaxed, just in that they had a composed mental state. They even have one hand stuffed in their pocket. Totally not cool at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's... Stuff I've drawn out of their appearance. <laughs> that may be true, <laughs> but... <laughs> totally not cool. All right, time to deuce this but eyeball. But that snowman. <laughs> <laughs> get it, Mr. Edgeworth? He's made of cold, snow. it's cold, I get it. Is this possible I'm connect to any of the evidence that I hold? <laughs> because it's cold, I the get button. it. <laughs> <laughs> the snowman. Wouldn't you say it's missing something? Ah, its right eye is missing. Precisely. And what's more, that missing eye happened to be our in our possession. The button that Mr. Cameron was holding on to. It's got the exact same design as the snowman's left eye. If we assume this button was indeed the snowman's eye, a huge contradiction arises. This button is the snowman's eye. What contradiction arises? Uh... The location of the victim? I mean, kind of the one thing that I was thinking when I realized that when they start talking about the button 
is that, you know, he must have walked by the snowman and grabbed the eye at some point because yeah. he never went back down there at any point afterwards. That would because the location uh, of the president, it it was you know it, that scene was taken in a picture, so he is yeah. where he is. And the snowman's in the picture. But I, the, I victim guess the victim moved at some point. I'm gonna say the victim. The victim was holding onto the button. Furthermore, the button was stained with blood. In other words, he grabbed the button after he was attacked. Yeah. For example, if we were to picture it in this way. After being struck in the back of the head, Mr. Cameron lost his balance. As he was falling, he reached out his hand towards the nearby snowman. Hopper could not support his weight, and he collapsed while still grasping the button. Huh? That, that means... Mr. Cannon was near the snowman when he was attacked? Indeed. At the very least, he must have been within arm's reach. However... It's quite clear that he would have not been able to reach it from his current position. But Mr. Cameron's footprints only led towards the flower bed. Can we be certain that those footprints really are Mr. Cameron's? It seems we need to investigate them one more time. Understood. I'll recreate the time the body was discovered scene one more time. Hmm. Boop. Beep. 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 These footprints should match. Up. These footprints should match up with Mr. Cameron's shoes, right? Let's inspect them again. Well, then let's do that. These footprints are they really Mr. Cameron's? They're from size 11 shoes, and these huge footprints match up with Mr. Cameron's shoes. No matter how you look at it, they're moving steadily towards the center of the flower beds. But when Mr. Cameron was attacked, he grabbed the button from the snowman. Even with a great thief's peak human conditioning, your arm just can't reach that far. <laughs> Let alone an ordinary civilian, it'd be completely impossible. The footprints come from the shoes worn by the victim, just as the case files say. However, does that mean Mr. Cameron was the owner of these shoes? We should re-examine Mr. Cameron's shoes. Um, okay. Let's go look at his shoes. Hmm. Because I've been thinking of something for a little bit here. The president's a big guy. He is. How much of what happened was staged? Because, like, I almost have the opinion right now that maybe the person with the gun was so relaxed because Cameron had already been murdered and then they just take his camera, snap a picture of that scene from where he should be standing over here and then put it back on the body and then you have a staged photograph. But oh, that would mean that President Holmes is involved there, there in there are footprints going to the body and back by the same shoes. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's look at the shoes. Are they going to be the president's shoes? President's acting sus, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> these footprints should match the... These shoes should match the footprints. However, these shoes... Seems like they were not the ones originally worn by the victim. What do you mean? If what do you mean? If you look closely, you'll see the laces were tied up strangely. And the size doesn't seem to fit quite right either. Huh. Hmm. Black dress shoes. That would mean these huge footprints leading up to the victim's feet. Are most likely made by someone other than the victim. So then the footprints leading to and from the victim's head must be, must be Mr. Cameron's. No, not necessarily. They seem a little too small to be the victim's footprints. So none of the footprints are his? Then which way did Mr. Cameron walk from? It's quite simple. The victim not walk here in his own accord, but rather... He was carried here after, they yeah, were, after he was, was murdered by the too. culprit. The question now becomes, where was he killed and carried from? Perhaps it was near the snowman after all. Huh. Can we see the picture of the president's footy, footy, footy use again? <laughs> of course the snowman's in the way. <laughs> Fucking get, get, get. All right, what did they say to look at? The snowman in the snowman area. But this would probably be in the next recreation. 
Yeah. Mr. Cameron's body was moved. We considered the button he was holding on to. That's how likely he was killed near this snowman. I should take a closer look. I want to... Okay. Um. It looks so sad. Yeah. Flower bed. Oh, there's a, the bricks missing from there. Oh. It appears that the outside of the facility was also decorated with flower beds. Wow. So there were flowers that bloom in the winter. Snow is even piled up on the flower bed. Indeed. It seems a little cold and it gives off a refined taste. Even though it's just a recreation. Indeed. It gives off a little cold and tastes quite refined. Even though it's just a recreation. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's missing from right there. We don't want to talk about the brick missing from right there. I'm just putting my hand on it. Huh? There's a brick missing here. Boom. It's all we and need. green. <laughs> Literally, it's green. <laughs> the rest are all in order. Strange that only this one is missing. I mean, it's... All Strangely you do is, put, is worth, really? All you got to do is put two and two together. It's literally, it's literally right here, dog. Oh, everything went pink. It did. Missing brick. And then the murder weapon brick. <laughs> one, two, buckle my shoe. Except you're buckling on the wrong person, apparently. Well, you know what? We're going to do all that logic next time. Oh, boy. How are you guys doing over here? Things are actually going pretty smoothly for once they for are. an investigation. Now we're getting some good theories in. We're making some progress. We've got, like, we've got, like, three pages of evidence. Four, 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 four pages of evidence. Oh, God. And we're helping our boy Lang get some closure from his family history. There you go. You're welcome. 